Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. 60 seconds. Two things I want to start this video off with. Number one, we're playing on the legit build, the most updated build as of Monday, which actually, there was an update today, which fixed up a few more bugs and whatnot. And number two, thank you for the support. The series has been doing really great so far since we started DLC updates. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it because that's what makes me enjoy it the most. And more importantly, challenge time. I want you guys to start leaving challenges in the comments again. Uh, since we have a new update, we have new items, we have new things, new events going on, I want you guys to leave me some challenges. So Falcon take so-and-so, bring so-and-so, do this, don't do that. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I'll pick out a few interesting ones and I will do them on camera going forward. Today we're going to do a little boy easy run because a few of you want me to do that just to get more comfortable with the game. And I, I think you're right. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I've actually been playing the game on Fat Man Normal off camera. I beat it probably once out of three attempts. So I do feel more comfortable and I do better off camera and somebody left me a really interesting comment saying Falcon the reason why you probably do a lot better off camera is because number one you're not talking you're not commentating you're not trying to amuse us so you're more you know in the game and that's obviously true that's that always happens with most LPers by the way unless you're like one of those really quiet LPers that doesn't really talk but I do talk a lot I try to amuse you guys trying to make you guys laugh because that's basically what I like to win. That's what I like to have happen in my videos. You watch them, you see a little bit of gameplay, but at the most, you're actually enjoying yourself, having a good time. But ultimately, the second thing they mentioned too, which is really important, is that I take more risk off camera because I don't have to worry about losing a run early on. So I gamble more off camera, and that sometimes does lead me to bad situations, but on more occasions than not, it actually leads me to really big results, good results, and the reason why I win a lot more off camera. So... Just a heads up, we're going to be playing a bit more risky this time around because you definitely have to gamble with this game. And that's something that I really need to start using more into my runs here. So, blah, 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 blah. Jesus, you talk so much. Let's get into the game. You are right, little boy. Easy, begin adventure. Let's go for it. I apologize for talking your ear out, but I think it's kind of important. Alrighty, so let's find out what we got here. We got some buck spray, flashlight, kind of important items. The shelter door is right here, so I think we should probably start as far as possible, right? I see the suitcase, I see the gas mask. The items are kind of really spread out right now, aren't they? So maybe grab... Hmm. Maybe grab Radio and Mary Jane, get those out of the way. So we'll do Radio, Mary Jane. Oh, my family's right here nearby too, which isn't too bad, meaning I could just do this. Drop her off, great. I'll grab the manual. Ah, uh, that was not the manual. <laughs> I grabbed the cards instead, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll do this. We'll do that. And we'll grab old Timbo. We have all of my family and I have a few important items. Now we just run around and grab some other important stuff like the rifle. That could be pretty useful. Food? Obviously you need food to survive, right? So we'll grab all this stuff over here. I see the med kit. I see the bug spray. Always really important items. We need the map as well. We need this gas mask. We need a lot of things, obviously. But I still have not seen the map. Where's the map at? You guys see the map? I don't see the map. I see bullets over there, but I don't see the map. That's really troubling. I didn't grab that water. That's really horseshit if you ask me. Where is the map at? I don't see the map whatsoever. Okay. Oh, there's the <laughs> It was in the same room? Oh, you guys got to be shitting me. Alrighty. Well, maybe we'll get the map in the... I don't know. Maybe we'll get it from the suitcase if we're lucky. Should have grabbed that map. I just for I just forgot to. I don't. I really don't play in Little Boy Easy. Oh, there's the map. <laughs> okay. I don't really play in Little Boy Easy so often, so I forgot that usually you don't have to pick up food when you're running around doing a scavenge because um, since you're playing Little Boy Easy, the game does start you off with a decent amount of food inside. I do believe. Let's find out here. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We got bullets, checkerboard, and soup. This was inside the shelter already. Oh, so you don't really get too much food, but you do get a few random items. And then inside of the bookcase, or the suitcase, was the map and some water. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to complain. That's a really good start so far. I think we have everything then, right? Yeah, we have everything. Wow. Oh, yeah, we have everything. All righty, guys. This is a pretty good start. All right, so... Here's another really interesting note that people have told me, and I really want to follow this one soon. And that is Falcon... When you send people out and you start messing up your schedule, your feeding schedule, like when you have people fed on day 10, for example, and then you send somebody out so they're sped up a little bit ahead, you have to feed them differently, 
feed everybody at the same time or feed that person twice just to keep them in the same schedule. Yes, it'll cost a bit more food and water, just a little bit more, but at least it won't break up my pattern. I'm thinking, who did I feed, who did I feed? So you know what? I forgot who mentioned that. Maybe it was a few people, but it's a really good idea. Thank you for that. We're going to start using that today going forward. I think, by the way, I've been using that strategy off camera. And that's the reason why I've been doing a lot better off camera too, I want to say. So, um, yeah. We're not going to go out right now. We'll hang out inside here a bit longer, see what kind of happens. Day three, nothing really should be going on so far. Plus, we're playing on Little Boy Easy. I really am not used to playing on Little Boy Easy. I'm used to hard or normal. I'm used to the game throwing every single hurdle at me, so I'm not sure what to expect in Little Boy Easy. Not that I've never done it before, but it's been a while, I should say. Uh, supply drops. Yes, that's a really good start. <laughs> All right, so we'll use the gas mask to go outside. That should give us more water and food. And our gas mask is doing one piece. There you go. We have the big water jug. We have extra food. Things are looking quite swell. Plus two and two. All righty. Day five coming up. We have an excess of two food and one water. I'm not going to complain. All righty, cockroaches. We're going to go smash these cockroaches with the Boy Scout magazine. You guys do not belong in my shelter. I'm sorry for the pause there. I'm not sure what that was about. I literally had a brain fart and I was thinking, what was I saying again? Yeah, man, what can I do? It's old age, I guess. It's just messing with my brain more and more. To be fair, though, my brain's really been failing me since I was like a young kid, so... It's probably not even age after all. Uh, today's, today you guys have to drink water, so there you go. Water for everybody. Food and water on day 10 again. Nobody's going out there right now. I think we're fine. Let's see, we have somebody wanting to gamble for some water. We always steered away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to a play a game. He proposed a two-water bottle bet and card game of our choice. So if we win this, we'd be actually pretty set. Mind you, we have after this water feeding, we still have six bottles. So you know what? If we lose, we're down to four, which isn't really too bad. You know what? What did I say today? We want to gamble a bit more, so I'm going to gamble literally by you. And we lost. <laughs> of course, of course. I gamble off camera a lot and it usually pays off. I gamble on camera and it doesn't. RNG, man. Easy mode, hard mode, normal mode. It just knows I'm recording. It just knows it. All right, so we lost water. It happens. It's not the end of the world. We still have a significant amount going forward. Not as much as we normally did, obviously, but I had to take a chance. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Um, This isn't going to drive us crazy, right? Just fatigued? I'm going to save my medicate because I'm pretty sure it should be fatigued. Yeah, I'll deal with fatigued. That's perfectly okay. I'd rather save the medicaid for a really terrible situation that we could die from. Uh, let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Don't... Don't foreshadow me, okay, game? Don't do that. Oh, and another thing I've been using off camera as well is this. Hungry Tired. This is actually helping me out quite a bit as well in terms of um, figuring out who is close to what sooner than later. So it's something I've been actually using a bit more off camera and that's actually kind of helpful. I don't really do it too much on camera, but I should. Oh, great. Since we're all tired, we can go outside to answer the phone. I like how this event happened immediately after we all got tired. That's why I tell you guys, do not tell me that RNG isn't purposely out to get me. It totally is out to get me. Oh, cool, we have two insane people. You know what insanity means, right? They randomly destroy stuff. Many stuff, and they randomly run out. This is great. <laughs> it was just too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone. That's the survivors, by the way, so I'm quite upset about this. Um, day eight. <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? Oh, boy. Um, yes, we will turn on the radio and find out what's happening with our crazy males. I like how the females are, you know, still standing strong. Holding on to the fight over here, it's the guys who are the weak ones now. Alrighty, and the radiation is mostly gone. Alrighty, good to know. Uh, we will eat and drink water tomorrow, and there's nothing over here for Dana. I'm gonna have a little bit of water here if you don't mind. Yeah. Alrighty, <clears throat> that's good. And day 10, today's gonna be water and food day for everybody. Oh, check this out. So, if I click on somebody now, dehydration and hungry. Dehydration, hungry, crazy, obviously. So, um, usually it says thirsty first, right? When it hits dehydration, that's when you're actually kind of close to dying. So that's when you definitely want to give them water. Um, they're actually not... It's weird because 
even though they're hungry, it doesn't say starving. I think starving is the next one, which I'm kind of surprised they're not saying that they want to... They're going to die without food. It's been 10 days now, but regardless of which, I want to keep to my 5-day schedule, so we'll do that right there. We can send somebody out now. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Mm, I guess we'll wait a bit more until the conditions probably lighten up a little bit here. Uh, the government people are coming. Keep our eyes and signs open, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty. Check out the old radio here. They'll probably tell us about... Well, at least like you're... <laughs> it looks like at least Ted is no longer tired. But um, he's batshit insane, obviously. We knew it! The government is not falling. They're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates on the radio transmission. Alrighty. I, I rely more on the survivors of Hill Valley. Those are the, the people that have actually saved me the last two successes I've had off camera. So I don't really rely on the government too much. They're kind of really iffy about saves on, at least for me anyway. Day 11. Um, we could go outside. Ted seems to be in really good shape and Mary Jane is feeling excellent. I think the one that we're looking for is the one that says, um, the wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. So we'll hold off here a bit longer. We're still decent in food anyway. Uh, we were pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, we'll give her some cards. Maybe this will teach her to be a better gambler, so future gamble attempts will probably be a bit more successful. Maybe. If not, at least it just hopefully brightens up the mood a little bit and we could send her out soon. Mary Jane loves cards. We thought she might get herself busy with solitaire, but she started doing card readings. Divination or not, if we don't figure out why the world has gone to hell, maybe she will. Maybe she will. Uh, nothing for today. Mary Jane is feeling so-so. That's not good enough. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. How good do I feel about sending my crazy son out there? And, well, uh, crazy son and Ted. I'm going to send Timmy out there. You know what? Let's give it a try. He's crazy and everything, but it's showing me a pretty good message. You know, plus, if he's not in the shelter, it's probably less of a chance he's going to probably eat something, burn something, break something. Did I probably say that one already? Eat something, whatever. Um, so, yeah, the less time they're in here, probably the best for us. Uh, we thought playing the silent game would be a good idea, the silence was too annoying, and we quickly stopped. Alright. Day 13, nothing so far. So we'll send Timbo out there, we don't need the gas mask because the radiation is low. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Normally, I try to give him the suitcase and a bunch of items. Since he's crazy, there's, you know, maybe a higher risk he might not come back, so what if we just did, like, uh... Just a weapon, for instance? I don't trust him with the map right now. <laughs> I really don't. Maybe we just go... Gun. We'll leave the suitcase here for now. I don't trust him because he's crazy. If he was, like, not crazy, I would probably give him the suitcase and a few items. Oh, thanks a lot, Ted. Well, I guess we saved the medkit to cure Ted down the line. I mean, I didn't use it initially to not make them tired or whatever, but they got crazy instead. But now there goes Ted getting um, sick, unfortunately. Alrighty, so Timmy's gone now. Ted got sick. Day 14, we'll hold off here a bit longer. Our patience is wearing thin. Ah, uh, Pancake. Right, Pancake. So we're gonna go outside, we will flashlight on Pancake. I really want to get Pancake into the mix, too. This might be the best opportune time to do it, because we do have a bunch of items. Quest items, anyway, that might actually trigger the Pancake event, so... We'll try to do it for sure. When he comes back, he's gonna ask for food, which we do have extra food, so... That's at least another part of the quest done with. Uh, we started to check what's going on with the flashlight. It's Pancake growling ferociously at us. We're going to go ahead and eat some food, get some water in us here pretty soon. Water's getting pretty low, by the way. Alarm! There's a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood. Watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore, but they are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights. I'm going to use the fire axe for this one, or maybe the padlock. What do you guys think? We'll use the fire axe. I hope we don't waste it in one turn. That would be for the best. Yeah, we wasted it in one turn. I was hoping we'd use the fire axe and they'd probably drop something of value for us. Yeah, we just lost it. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to keep that for maybe a future event that required rescuing with the fire axe, but so be it. Should have gone with the padlock, but I was hoping we could probably get an item if they dropped something when they ran away. So right now we're fine in terms of food. Uh, uh oh. Radio is... might be breaking up on us pretty soon here. No, it's still there. Great. Oh. What happened to her gas mask? Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven our st through our street. We rushed out and got the package before anyone else. We got two water and one food. You know what? I will gladly sacrifice this being broken for two more water and one food. So, that's actually pretty good. 
What did <laughs> what Ted did today was really absurd. Yeah, that was Ted. Let me read this in case you're new to the series and you haven't seen this one before. During dinner, he suddenly jumped out of his seat and started boxing the gas mask hanging on the wall. He appeared to trade insults as well as blows with the inanimate object. Apparently, he had mistaken the mask for a bloodthirsty stranger intent on stealing our cans. Although we were very impressed with his right hook and his eagerness to defend our family, violence is really not his style. Also, the mask was completely destroyed. Ted really showed it, showed it who's boss. So whenever they're crazy, this is one of the things that can happen. I'd rather have this one happen than the one where he wipes his ass, literally, with the map. That I don't want happening, so hopefully we could stave that off here for a bit longer. But hey, we got more water, which I'm actually quite happy about. Our town used to be a very quaint and friendly place before the blast. One of the townsfolk we often recall is the old man Jim, who would sometimes limp through our street. Turns out he's alive and well and still homeless. Some things never change. He clearly misses us as much as we miss him. He's been banging on our shelter door for the last few hours, asking whether we want to buy a rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is the sheltered rock voice coming to this game? I think so. All right, you guys, here we go. Finally, The Rock has come back to 60 seconds. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. That really hurts my throat, by the way. <laughs> you guys don't understand how much it does, but... Anyway, um, yes, let's go ahead and talk to this guy again. We're taking more gambles this time around. I'm really interested in actually triggering more new events. So let's find out what um, talking to the homeless man will do. Old Man Jim was, also, was always lovely and friendly to everyone, so of course we opened the door and fulfilled his request. He winked at us and told us the first rock is for free, which we were happy to hear. A nice rock is a good thing to have, but we don't think we will even be able to trade any of our supplies for it, even if it brings luck like he claimed. So do we actually get the rock or no? It's just like flavored text maybe? Or maybe some sort of future event? I'm not sure. But there you go. We apparently have a rock, quote unquote. Uh, so far everybody's fine with the feeding, so we're cool here. We were sh we were sure we'd lo look through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed, a plant seed. We should plant it to see what happens, but we need a bottle of water for that. No. This one's definitely a no because if we do use up the water, number one, we need water. Um, she can get a bit upset about it, but she seems fine for now. But, um, if we went with that event, that would probably make the plant grow, and we need the fire axe to get rid of the plant, or the insecticide spray, which we do have. However, I forget what the insecticide spray gives you for the plant, so I usually go with the fire axe. What you do is you cut down the, uh, plant, and you get some food for it. But, you know, I don't really want to sacrifice food for water, so we're gonna say no. Plus, we don't have the fire axe to kill the plant. Um, there are plenty of better ways to use our water. Exactly. Day 19. Ted looks what? Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave and he needs to get a drink right now. Dehydration hungry, sick and crazy, dehydration hungry, dehydration hungry, yeah, yeah. But you guys get water on day 20, you still are able to survive one more day, so don't give me that shit. Uh, Ted, by the way, we could dictate how sick he is by his sweating patterns as well, so we could probably then use that on him. I mean, we could use it on him now and hopefully we get the bug spray to fix that. That's an option too. Should we do that? No, nah, I'm gonna hold on to that medkit for a bit longer. Screw you, Ted. Alright, barking at our doorstep could only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Pancake wants some food, we will definitely give him some food. And that's gonna trigger the next part of his event. Which I'm actually quite happy about. Timmy's not come back, by the way. So Timmy might be, you know, Dunsky here. I'm not sure. Yep! Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. And we lost the gun, too. Probably a good thing I didn't send him out with all those items in after all, right? So we lost Timmy, the best scavenger. That's unfortunate, but it happens. We gave Dogman his um, food. So he'll be back at some point or another. Um, well, now raises a really interesting scenario. Do we use the medkit on Ted now? He's crazy. Honestly, I'm worried he might break something pretty soon. But more importantly, you guys need water and food right now, so let's get that out of the way. Oh, so now the, um, the survivors are calling us again. Great. I'm gonna send... Ted out for this one. And if I'm correct, I've been, you know, testing this off camera just to make sure it's not going to bite me in the ass for a recording. If you send somebody to go outside to just check their phone, it doesn't actually skip you forward two days like you send him out on an expedition. So, um, he doesn't have to be fed till day 25 again. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp or relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as the survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. All right. Everybody's fed right now. Everybody's cool. Let's find out. Ted, dehydration, hungry, and sick. Dehydration just gave you water. Did it mess up your schedule? 
I could have sworn I tested this off camera and then just going out to check the, the phone is not going to speed him up, but maybe it did. All right, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I will give you water only, just to make sure you're going to be fine here. You should be able to survive today 25 for food anyway. Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Uh, maybe. We have no weapons. That's what really worries me right now. We discussed everything we could and no one is willing to chat anymore. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. I kind of want to send somebody out, if only just for some weapon scavenges, hopefully. Because we have nothing to defend ourselves with future raider attacks other than the padlock. That's a one-time use. Ah, how fortunate. We took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? I don't think they do. Uh, day 22. Everybody should be fine. Ted might be able to survive. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Let's send Dolores out there, I'm going to say. Actually, should I do that? Maybe not. You know why? Because, um... Ted's crazy, so he might book book it from the shelter at any moment. I think we send Mary Jane out, who's not as good of a scavenger, but um, we could, I guess, um, risk losing her and still keep Dolores in the shelter, because Ted might book it. So I think we'll send uh, Mary Jane. We are not alone. There's a huge hairy beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get to it. We can't let it be in here when we sleep. Um, he's going to probably steal some food because we have no way to defend ourselves, which is the reason why I want to send Mary Jane out right now. Because we have no way to deter any sort of attack happening. So we'll lose some food. How much food exactly? Hopefully just one can. One can is what we lost. That's okay. We could deal with that. Alrighty, so Mary Jane is going out today. We still have enough rations, I'm going to say. How's Ted doing, by the way? Mm, we don't have to use that medkit just yet, I'm going to say. Alright, so today we're sending Mary Jane... She's in good condition, so you know what? Let's give her the old suitcase. And I'll give her the flashlight, just because we already did the flashlight event with, um... With a pancake, so we could definitely give her the flashlight as well. And... What good are bullets without a gun? But what is she gonna do with the bullets out there? Probably nothing, really. I'll send her with the suitcase and the flashlight only, I wanna say. I'm going to hold on to that padlock in case we need it for an attack of some kind. Map, I want to leave because we might need it for the panking event. Boy Scout, could it be used to fix the gas mask maybe or something else? Yeah. Um, let's do it this way instead then. So we'll send her out with the flashlight and the suitcase. Maybe this will make her grab some more extra items for us. We'll see. I'm not really 100% certain about that, but we'll give it a try. Day 24, Ted died. Ted died due to starvation, I'm going to say. Yeah, without food. So... It's really weird. Um, I'm not sure there was an update today, so I did notice the update saying something about fixing the amount or fixing some sort of issue with the progression of something not taking effect if you send people out or something of that nature. Uh, before today, I played this a little bit off camera last night to get ready for today's recording and for the phone event, which is what killed him, by the way. For the phone event, even though you send them outside because he just goes back in and out, it never progressed to two days forward, at least to my calculations, but right now it did. So I'm not sure if that was because of the update or not. It's unfortunate, it happens, whatever. He was crazy, so if anything, I've kind of steered off the whole thing of um, him breaking the map. Or not breaking the map, but wiping his ass with the map, or more importantly, just running out of the shelter altogether. Or causing a fire, or whatever they could do when they're crazy. So I have the girls now, and they're sane, which is actually pretty good, so... Assuming Mary Jane comes back, Dolores should be cool going forward. And we save ourselves a medkit because we don't have to use it on Crazy Ted now because he's dead. So, you know what? I'll take it. Day 24, let's go forward. Dolores is crazy. Why is she crazy? Mary Jane is still around? Oh, come on. Well, I guess we're... We're actually kind of boned at this point then, because now she's crazy and she could, you know, burn something as well and do crazy stuff like, come on. Alrighty, food it is. Pancake's back, we will go out with Pancake with the map. That should get us a bit of extra food if I'm right. The fire axe gets you water, if I'm correct, or something else, but the map does nab you some extra food. Three cans of food, as a matter of fact. Yeah, Scout Handbook. Alright, good. So, uh, we got three extra cans of food, so we're looking fun in terms of feeding ourselves. It's just a matter of Dolores now being insane. 
Um, what in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They're driving us crazy. Oh, well, she's already crazy anyway, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? But sure, let's have you play solitaire by yourself here, crazy Dolores. I wonder if there's a way to um, reverse insanity in the game. Yeah, that was something that they added in the... And the DLC itself. I don't think there probably is. I mean, once you're crazy, you're probably crazy, but it'd be great. I mean, it's a game after all. Just amuse me. Give me a, a way to clear up sanity over here. Mary Jane is still not back. That's really, that's really surprising to me. I mean, oh, she's dead now. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a, what are you kidding me? Like both of my scavengers attempt on easy failed? I could understand Timmy because he was insane. Mary Jane was actually in tip-top condition when I sent her out, and she also got law. You know, I'm a bit upset because that's horseshit. I'm playing on easy mode and twice two attempts for scavenging failed. I don't like that one bit. Not whatsoever. Day 28. Well, all we have now is Dolores. The other day we heard a quiet knock on her door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep. Let's go ahead and open up that suitcase. The leather one is the bad one, small one is good. Suitcase regular is random, it hurt me. Okay, so luckily we do have a medkit for that. So that's okay. Dolores will just heal you up now, we'll give you some food and water tomorrow. The other day we heard a quiet knock. We only found a suitcase. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to that medkit and we'll probably use it after you check out this suitcase today, how about that? Just in case it decides to hurt me back to back. Maybe one of them will be good. Day 30. What did this one do? This one gave me one food. Alrighty, great. Now you feed yourself. Gave yourself some water. We'll give you the medkit as well. And... Today's an army broadcast. Yes, we will go ahead and use the map for the army broadcast. Hey, you know what? At this point... We need to get rescued as soon as possible because we cannot fend off any attacks. I could go out and scavenge with her. We could padlock the door behind us now. But the problem is we have no weapons and so far I'm two of two and um, I failed twice on my expedition so far. So I don't think we want to risk it anymore. Alright! Using the medkit on her is going to keep us from getting pancake! Considering we had lost all these people right now back to back in a sense almost. I kind of forgot all about Pancake's event, so we're not going to get Pancake, unfortunately. Which... Pancake actually does some... Oh, she burned the cards because she's batshit insane, by the way. Um, with Pancake, when you get him to join, if you're crazy... It happened to me once in one of my runs in the past. This was pre-DLC, mind you. But if you get Pancake to join you... Oh, we found something behind the map. Yeah, go and check it out. When you get Pancake to um, join you, if you're the last one and you're insane, it does clear up your sanity for only your insanity for only one day. You immediately go back to being crazy afterwards, which is kind of weird. But I did do it um, pre-DLC. Maybe now they actually made it the um, permanent clearance. I mean, that could have probably helped had I thought of that ahead, but I didn't. Uh, what did we get from that safe in the... I think we got more food. Okay, we have a lot of food, but... Unfortunately, Dolores is, um, just set to run out of the shelter whenever she pleases. We haven't heard from the hillside survivors, and the military is the... I think the military might be our best bet of survival, because we've actually triggered more of their events than anybody else. Uh, we could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Uh, we could go out and actually go to the school and try to find some supplies here. I'll give it a try. We don't need actually food supplies, but you can actually find a few items there. Like, I've actually found bullets at the school, which is re really comical if you ask me. Oh, uh, we killed somebody too. <laughs> we have blood in our hands. We had no idea they installed some kind of alarm system around the shelter door. As soon as we tried to open it, we were jumped and attacked by with loose bricks and map pointers. There we are, way too many adults. There were too many adults. We were expecting just one teacher, but it turns out they left children behind to make space for themselves. We are appalled. Those terrible, terrible teachers. Alrighty, so water and food for Dolores over here. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. Uh, sure, you know what? Let's go ahead and be daring about shit. She's a bit fatigued. Did we find anything of value though? We got a flashlight back. Didn't we already have a flashlight or did we break it? Oh, uh, Mary Jane lost it right in our expedition. Yeah, so we got the flashlight back, I suppose. She's really tired. Um, we'll continue going forward. Come on, military! You're the only one that can save me at this point. Day 37. Let's see what we got here. 
Ah, uh, nothing over here. Day 37 over here. Blah, blah, blah. Willing to trade. All right, so we have the Girl Scouts. They offer a suitcase for a flashlight and they offer cards for the padlock. We obviously need this to um, fend off any raider attacks, so I'm going to go ahead and trade the... Or do we really need the suitcase at this point? Yeah, whatever. I'll trade the suitcase for the flashlight. Not that it really matters because um, the suitcase is more better for expeditions, which we're trying to avoid doing right now. Dehydration, hungry, crazy, fatigued. You know what? Since you're the last one here, we might as well not risk it. Let's go ahead and swap this over to day 38 instead. So we'll feed you again on day 43. Ah, uh, trash can is becoming really overburdened. That's fine. We'll use the old roach magazine. Well, not the roach magazine, but the scout handbook. Kill them with that. Fend off the roaches here a bit longer. We need the military to actually show up really soon because Mary Jane is in a tough spot here. Day 39, here comes day 40. I don't know, I'm not really too crazy about this run. Like, nothing really has gone on too bad. The only problem is that for some reason, both of my expeditions failed. I mean, that doesn't even happen in normal or hard mode, like back-to-back -back failures. The Mary Jane one especially kind of really surprised me because she was in tip-top shape. I could understand, um, you know, Ted. The military is saying to get rid of our guns. We don't have a gun. So we don't have to really do that event. Right? Yeah, since we have a gun to begin with, soldiers shouldn't have any issues with us. Okay. Hey, you know what? That might be the last trigger for the military. We could probably pull this off. We're going to go ahead and use the bug spray on the medkit and fix that just in case we get a weird injury over here. So we'll at least have a medkit to kind of cure us up here, just in case it happens. We're about to get really close to the day that um, raiders start attacking or bandits do. Normally it happens, at least in normal, like around day 45. I'm not sure if it changes on easy, but we'll see. But I'm preparing for day 45 right now. Um... Oh, manhole in the corner, right. That's gonna probably hurt us, if anything. Which is fine, because we do have a med kit. That didn't hurt us. Great. Alrighty. Um, normally, if you actually do that one, you do get some food. And sometimes you even get a fire axe or something? I'm not sure what happens. I, it's been a while since I've actually triggered that event. Uh, yes. With the feeder, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> I just did it. I already forgot. That's how paranoid I am about this game sometimes. All right, day 44. Uh, nothing so far. Nothing so far. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. Uh, we could go over there and kill the old people now. We already did it with the kids anyway at the school. Not that we got anything from it. Actually, we failed in doing that. I do believe, however, that when you trigger the... the violent events, that's when you cut off communications with the survivors from Hill Valley. So the moment you start attacking anybody or showing any sort of aggression, they don't come and save you anymore. So we have cut them off completely at this point. We're really waiting for the government. And do we want to go after these old folks? I mean, sure, let's give it a try at this point. I mean, we don't really need supplies to survive. Some extra items would be nice, but in terms of water and food, I think we're fine. We got four food out of actually killing those nice old people. Eh, you know what happens. Two more bottles of water, which is okay for only one person. Crazy, tired, fatigue, you're still fine. I think the next time we have to give you water is day 48, if I'm correct. But we might do it a bit. As a matter of fact, let's do it now. Let's keep you happy since you're crazy. Day 45 is when the raiders should start attacking us here pretty soon, at least on normal. We'll use the Boy Scout magazine to fend off the roaches. Come on, military! Let me get a victory here. Crazy or not, I just want to win once on camera here to kind of get us the ball rolling into having some good runs in the future here. Uh, let's go ahead and have the Boy Scout magazine be used on Dolores here. Get her a little bit... Comfortable with that. She's so crazy. There's no coming back from that at this point. At least get Ted's body out of here. You know what? That's probably the reason why she's over here um, so crazy. She constantly has to see her husband right in front of her. It's been a while, but there was another message from the radio. They want us to send one person. Oh, no. We're too fatigued to go out. Oh, Dolores, you're killing me. You, gotta, you need to get out of fatigue so you can come and talk to the government over there. Alrighty. Uh, we're just going to skip forward. We'll try to ignore most of everything right now. We need to get her... Or she needs to stop being fatigued over here so we can send her out to meet up with the government here. That's the last thing we need to do, actually trigger the event to be saved or to be attacked by bandits. It matters. Um, I'm going to trade the Boy Scout magazine for the gun. Yeah. Just so that we have two different ways to defend ourselves from raiders. We'll have the padlock and we'll have the gun. So this is good. Right now we will feed her. 
So, boom, boom. Go forward. Mysterious visitors, one of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride. Said horse! So, oh, these guys are crazy. Yeah, we'll let you guys use the map here. They usually um, offer some sort of reward later. I don't think it's ever really triggered for me, but hey. We'll see if it does this time. Oh, they gave me a, a flashlight. Alright, that's fine. Uh, water chip. If I give him water, he will give me a mask. Uh, we are low on water, so no. Absolutely not, my friend from Fallout. You are not getting my limited water here. Day 52? What we got? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Forward. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. No, I, I don't want to go outside. What are you talking about? Did I click on that by mistake? No, I don't want to scavenge. You're out of your mind. I'm fine in here. <laughs> I have everything I have or need down here. Oh, she's no longer tired, though. Okay, military event? Come on. She's rested now. She needs to drink on day... F uh... The phone is ringing again. We already triggered this before, though. No, no, at this point... No, we can't do that. We are really far from triggering the rescue from the Hill Survivors because we've only really done one, which was answering the phone to begin with. So I'm not sure why that's even ringing again. Right now we're waiting for the government. We're one trigger away from that happening. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. Ah, man. Sure, I guess we'll have to use it. It doesn't really matter. We use it now or we use it later. We have to use it at some point. Um, okay. So we got that. Let's go ahead and give her food and water. Military, where the hell are you at? Oh, of course, now they're not over here contacting me anymore. Now that I'm actually arrested. I'm surprised she's actually lasted in the shelter so long by herself, like she hasn't run off just yet. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew a route and mark to a spot at the end of it. Maybe there are supplies hidden there. Should we check it out? Ah, uh, sure, I guess. This could be the end. No, we actually... Oh, wow, we got... We got stuff, but she's tired now again. We got a fire axe. Oh, of course. Oh, f f <laughs> okay. Now that you're tired again, I guess we'll give you the event to meet with the military. I hate this game so much sometimes. That's absolute horseshit. I am so upset with this game right now. It's not even comical, it's not even comical at all. Oh, boy. Does she need to drink water because I sent her out? Uh, hungry, thirsty, but no dehydration or starving. So, no, she's still fine. She should be good for day 50, then. This is... I... Oh. She ran out of shelter. God damn it! Oh, God. I am... upset. Just dang on upset. Dang it, Bobby! You perished. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully, enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. Does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.